Hi, I'm Lisa Angeletti, and I'm the president of the Sheltonham School District Foundation, a 501c3 organization that was founded in 1992 to support innovative instruction for Sheltonham students. The board is delighted to partner with Cindy Goldberg and her new release of ABC That Sounds Like Me. Cindy was not only a teacher in Sheltonham for more than 20 years, but also served as the district's mindfulness coach and in this role was a recipient of one of the foundation's annual grants. We'd like to take a moment to tell you a little bit more about the foundation before Cindy introduces us to her new book. Hi, I'm Betsy Conway lifelong resident and teacher in Cheltenham for over 36 years. As a board, our goal is to raise funds and we do it in three ways. The board kicks off the school year with our biggest community fundraiser known as the Food Truck Jamboree, where the entire Cheltenham community is invited for food, fun and live music. We end the school year with our Cheltenham Dines on Blanc event, where we dine under the stars dressed all in white. And finally, we raise funds from generous donations made by more than 140 educators and staff through payroll deduction and donations made by community members like you. These donations tremendously help support our students. And if you'd like to donate, please visit us at CheltenhamSDF.org. I'm Pam Hart, Cheltenham parent and former principal of Myers Elementary School. So you may be wondering what the foundation does with the funds that we raise. It's a really good question. Our primary work is to support the staff and students of the school district in two ways. Each year, we allocate over $25,000 for educator and staff grants, which have funded over 100 original projects that range from STEM to the arts. We also award over $9,000 in scholarships to Sheltonham High School seniors. The recipients of our awards are not only hardworking students, but they have also demonstrated perseverance, resiliency, and a commitment to the Sheltonham School community. Now that we've shared a little bit about the foundation, our mission, and our work, we want to take this opportunity to thank you, Cindy Goldberg, for your ongoing commitment and connection to the Sheltonham School District community and to the foundation. We are delighted that you have chosen to partner with us as you launch your new book. Hi everyone. I am so happy to be back in the Cheltenham School District, even virtually. It's especially great to be working with the Cheltenham School District Foundation because they do so much to support your classrooms. My name is Cindy Goldberg and I wrote the book that I'm going to be reading. It's called ABC That Sounds Like Me, a Strengths Spotting Alphabet Book. It's not like any other alphabet book you've ever heard before, because this one is filled with a lot of character traits. And I bet you'll see yourself and some of your best traits on the pages of the book. I spent 24 wonderful years teaching in the Cheltenham School District, and I discovered that every child has amazing and unique talents, even though sometimes they don't know. My good friend, Jennifer Hall, who you'll meet in a few minutes, did the beautiful watercolor illustrations. This book is based upon science, the science that teaches us how important it is to know our strengths. We all have them. Whether we are adults or kids or somewhere in between, knowing and using our character strengths helps us to be happier and mentally healthier. Finding and boosting your strengths rather than trying to fix what you think are your weaknesses is the key. As I read this book, I invite you to notice the scenarios that remind you of yourself. Hello, my name is Jennifer Hall and I am the illustrator behind ABC That Sounds Like Me. I was an art teacher in Cheltenham School District for four years between the elementary schools and also the high school. I was really honored when Cindy asked me to illustrate this book because I knew how special it was going to be and I also really value the importance of character strengths both in our students and also in ourselves. 
In creating this book, I wanted to uh, use watercolor techniques to add lots of dimension to the characters and to the scenery. Um, and it was also really important to me to demonstrate the diversity, which was one of the things that I loved so much about working and teaching in Cheltenham School District. I am so excited to share this book with you, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it. Thank you. ABC, That Sounds Like Me, a strength spotting alphabet book written by me, Cindy Goldberg, and illustrated by Jennifer Hall. Dedicated to Eva. ABC, That Sounds Like Me, a strength spotting alphabet book by Cindy Goldberg, illustrated by Jennifer Hall. We all have character strengths. Our character strengths are what is best about us. Also, they are what we love to do, what we think we are good at, and what we enjoy doing for a long time. When we use our strengths, everything feels just right. See if you can spot your character strengths every day. A is for awe. That sounds like me when I see something beautiful. I appreciate the beauty I see. B is for bravery. That sounds like me when I say, take those training wheels off and let me try. C is for caring. That sounds like me when I feed my cat and pet him until he purrs. I love taking care of Charlie. D is for deliberate and prudent. That sounds like me when I get to school on time and I make a plan to talk to Jaden. I choose to stay quiet and wait for the right time. E is for expecting the best. That sounds like me when I hope to play a song on the piano after I practice all week. F is for forgiveness. That sounds like me when I forgive Logan for hurting my feelings after he says sorry. G is for gratitude. That sounds like me when I look at my family and friends and feel so thankful and lucky to have them. H is for humor. That sounds like me when I tell a good joke and make myself laugh and my friends laugh too. I is for integrity. That sounds like me when I show honesty with my sister. I tell her that it's her turn even though she thinks it's mine. J is for judgment. That sounds like me because I can tell what's right and wrong to do without anyone reminding me. K is for kindness. That sounds like me because it's easy for me to be nice. I feel happy when I make other people feel good. L is for leadership. That sounds like me when I repeat the directions to Olivia because she didn't understand what the teacher said. M is for modesty. That sounds like me when I kick the winning goal and I do not brag about it. Instead, I say, we did it. N is for new. That sounds like me when I use creativity to make something new, such as when I turn a pine cone into a cat. O is for objective and fair. That sounds like me when I divide the candy part evenly between Jamal and me. P is for perseverance. That sounds like me when I am learning something new. Sometimes I have to try a few times before I figure it out. Q is for questioning. That sounds like me when I want to know more. Mom says I am curious about everything. R is for regulated. That sounds like me when I show self-control. When my brother makes me so mad, I don't scream at him. Instead, I take a mindful moment, I take three deep breaths, and I calm down. S is for spirituality. That sounds like me when I feel like I'm part of something bigger than myself. I wonder about the huge world and my purpose in it. T is for teamwork. That sounds like me when I worked on a mural in my classroom. I listened to my group and I did my best. We all drew our own part and it came out great. U is for understanding. That sounds like me because I have social intelligence. I can get along well with people at school, at camp, and even at a family reunion. V is for viewpoint. That sounds like me because I have perspective. I can feel one way, 
and understand how Sophia feels a very different way. W is for wisdom. That sounds like me when I'm at school. I have a love of learning and can't wait until Mr. White teaches us something new. X is for excellent, which really doesn't start with an X. But that sounds like me when I am using my strengths. I feel extraordinary when I am doing what I love to do. I even lose track of the time. Y is for you. You can discover your strengths and feel extraordinary too. Just ask yourself, what am I good at? What do I love doing? What can I do for a very long time without wanting to stop? Z is for zest. That sounds like me when I have a lot of energy to play new games and run around and try new activities. I hope you liked this book. ABC That Sounds Like Me talks about your character strengths and the things that you're good at. So now think of your very own character strengths. Draw a picture of you and what you do best, and then you can write your own page. Your letter is for whatever your strength is, and that sounds like me when I, and finish the sentence. You can copy this and make your own ABC That Sounds Like Me book. This story was written by me, Cindy Goldberg, along with the illustrations done by, by my good friend, Jennifer Hall. We hope you enjoyed this book. Thanks for being a part of this very special event. I am so happy that we got to share this book with you. And when you get your own copy, make copies of the last page to show your special strengths. My name's Grace and I'm a fifth grader at Elkins Park School. And G is for grateful. This sounds like me when I get to go special places with my friends and family. I and I'm extra grateful since I don't get to go many places because of quarantine. Hi, my name is Elise Byer. I go to Winkley Elementary as a fourth grader. H is for happy. This sounds like me because I, I, I love being happy. Example is when we go take a trip to Ocean City and we go to the beach. I love doing that. That makes me happy. We hope that you enjoy the book, ABC, It Sounds Like Me, as much as the children have as well. If you're interested in purchasing this book and adding it to your family library, you can find it on Amazon. And please know that if you were to buy this book between April 12th and April 30th, proceeds from the sale of the book will go right to the foundation. We wanna thank you in advance for your ongoing support.